what is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video and another follow along. Today we're going to be looking at the squat in particular. This video is designed so you can be able to do this pretty comfortably if you can't already. Before we jump into this video I just want to mention that my app powered by Tribe has now got a bunch of follow along flexibility routines on there as well as more flexibility routines to come so if you want to check that out if you want to have something offline or more details and more information i'll link that in the description down below so you can give it a go otherwise let's jump into the routine let's start with the usual the good old hip swivel so we're going to seated bent knees knee legs outside and all we're going to do is we're going to drop our legs to the left hand side so one into internal rotation one into external and then we're just going to reverse that motion the hip swivel this is something that's in pretty much all of my routines at this point and it's just one of my like go-to kind of warming up the hips it's going to challenge both external rotation and internal rotation of the hip so it's just a nice little warm-up and it gets moving them through a little bit larger range of motion we're going to do 10 of these in total so i think we're at four now so that's five per side if you can't do maths which i hope you can do so we're going to do a few more on each side and then we're going to finish up with a little stretch on each side as per usual in these follow alongs these days. I just think, as I said, a great way to start things off. So last one on this side now, what we're going to do is we're going to let our leg, our left leg drift into a 90-90 position. So we're going to be nice and upright. We want our left leg to be out at 90 degrees, right hand on your left foot. And we're just going to lean on as far as you can forward. We don't want to round into this one. We want to make sure we're trying to be proud, lift our chest up and move our hip over. We're just gonna hold this one for about 30 seconds in total. If you can, we can do a little bit of PNF. So we're gonna press our knee down into the ground. So contract the glute, press the knee into the ground for five seconds, breathe out, try to sink a little bit deeper into that stretch. We can do that a couple of times. Press into the ground, breathe out, sink a little bit deeper. We're just going to now flip round. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's that 99 position, nice 90 degrees at the front leg. I'm going to bend on over into it. And then, as we said, keeping the back nice and neutral. And we can do a little bit of PNF. So press the knee into the ground, contract, breathe out, go a little bit deeper. Contract, breathe out, go a little bit deeper. Do one more of these, so contracting. Break that out, go a little bit even nice. So the hip should already feel a little bit looser, a little bit more comfortable. What we are gonna do is we're gonna work on developing this internal rotation, this movement here, as it can limit our squat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back onto the left-hand side into our 90-90. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and stay nice and upright. And all you're gonna try and do is you're gonna lift the heel of the back leg. Now this might feel cramping up, try to embrace the cramp, go with it. If you can't lift your leg, that's absolutely fine. Just the idea of you trying to lift that hip will do well. So we're gonna lift for five seconds as hard as you can, as high as you can. Try to stay nice and upright, relax. And we're gonna do five of these in total. So lift again, hard as you can. Try to stay nice and upright with the torso, relax. And I'm gonna repeat another three. So lift. If it's cramping, that's good. You need to work for it. The best way to get rid of cramps is to contract harder. Lift again, number four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna do the last one. So lift. And relax. So we're gonna keep the same position. I'm just gonna try and twist and lift our chest. I'm gonna twist into this right leg. So we just feel a nice slight stretch on that leg. Nothing major. Just gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. I'm going to flip over and we're going to do the exact same motion on the other side. So try to keep nice and upright over the leg and lift that back leg. Five seconds. Let it go down and relax. As I said, don't feel disheartened if you can't lift it at all. It is tough. It's a weird thing to be able to do. Um, just try your absolute hardest to lift it and that will be enough. That'll be enough to, to get the result that we want to get. And then if you do this a few times, you might notice that you actually start being able to lift it off the ground. That's three, I'm gonna do two more. One more, last one. Keep lifting, keep lifting as high as you can. 
and relax. And then we're just gonna twist, as I said, onto the other side. Now you might notice that one side is tighter than the other. For me, my left hand internal rotation, or my left leg internal rotation is worse. That's absolutely fine, that's perfectly normal. It's usually to do with sports you play as a kid, or if you play football or rugby or whatever it is. Right, so that is kind of the hips loosened up a nice little bit. We're gonna now gonna jump into what is a downward dog position. You most likely have seen this one before. We're gonna actually place a little bit of a bias on it. So usually downward dog, we try to go really deep, get a nice stretch on the hamstrings, open the shoulders. This time we're gonna try and focus on stretching the calf. So you can come out of it a little bit, really think about trying to stretch the calf, moving the knee over the toe. And we're gonna walk backwards and forward, trying to really push that knee over the toe, but also get the heel down to the ground. So we're gonna do 10 of these in total. So five per side again. Take your time with them. Really feel that stretch in the calf. So we're on six. Don't worry too much about the shoulders. Just kind of get into wherever is a comfortable position. And on this last one now, I'm gonna hold on this right hand side. I'm gonna try and take off some weight and place it onto that right leg so I get a little bit more of an intense stretch. And I'm gonna really focus on pulling this knee forward so that I can get more of a stretch in the calf. So really drive it forward. I'm gonna hold it for about 30 seconds. Should feel a nice stretch through the entire calf. And we're gonna swap sides. Same thing again. Place all the weight through that left hand foot and try to really pull the heel down to the ground and then move that knee further over. Keep holding, feel a nice stretch. And then we can come back into our main downward dog and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our right leg forward into a lunge. But we're not just gonna sit in a normal lunge here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna really work to improve our ankle flexibility. So I want you to try and go into the into the sort of the furthest forward you can, pushing that front knee over the foot. And then in this position here, we're just gonna move backwards and forwards to try and rock as far over that front foot as you can, keeping the heel pretty much on the ground if you can. I'm gonna do 10 of these nice and slow, just trying to use what we have. If it's only just back here, and you're moving back and forward, that's fine. But we're trying to go as far forward as we can. So seven and 10, we're just gonna pause on this last one. I'm gonna use my elbow here. I can place a little bit more weight and really push down into it. And what we can do is we can come back, get our left leg, pull that through. And again, go into the longest lunge we can, really pushing that knee over. And we're gonna do 10 rocks, so rocking forward. Four, five, six, ten. Perfect. So, nice push going on there. And what we're going to now come back to do is we're now going to come into the center and I'm just going to perform some frog rocks. So we can sit basically. If you actually to look at this position from the side as that camera is, you can kind of see that we're almost in like a squat position for a little bit more upright. So we're gonna come down onto all fours and we're just gonna rock backwards and forwards. Should feel a nice stretch in your adductors, the inside of your thigh. I'm just gonna do 10 of these. Try to get the legs as wide as you feel comfortable, those knees. I'm just gonna rock backwards and forwards. 10 times. Eight. Just pushing the hips back, trying not to round the back, but trying to really arch it so you get more of a stretch in the adductor. And then to the last one, I'm just gonna rest for about 10 seconds. This is gonna be our rest between. So now we've kind of loosened a lot of those tight areas. We've loosened the glutes, we've loosened internal rotation, we've loosened the ankles. We can now go back, maybe just try sitting in a squat, see how it feels. Does it feel any better? Does it feel a bit more comfortable? Maybe. We're gonna then you're gonna take a rest. You don't have to sit in a squat, obviously, for the rest. And we're gonna go into the second part of this routine. So what we're gonna do for the second part, you're gonna need an object 
that you can hold onto in front of you. I don't need to hold onto an object, but I'll demo something similar just so you get an idea of what to do. So we're gonna start lying on our back. In this position here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one leg, we're gonna bring it up to 90 degrees, we're gonna let it drop out a little bit to the side, and we're gonna try and use our own strength to pull it as far, so I'm trying to pull my knee as far as I can in this direction. Maximum effort for 10 seconds, really, really working hard. If you want, you can put a hand against it so you have something to work into and really contract. It's really, really hard, 10 seconds. Cool, relax, you can let it go down, shake it off. We're gonna do three of these. So as I said, 10 seconds, really, 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 really pull hard. Should feel the hip flexor contracting really hard. And just try to pull that knee back into your hand. Keep going. And relax. And now we're just gonna do one final one. So think of this knee position, it's kind of similar to how your squat would be. So again, pull into the hand. Keep going, keep pulling, hard as you can. And relax. Shake it off, we'll do the same on the other side. So again, I'm not coming directly forward. I'm gonna let the knee drop out a little bit. If I'm most comfortable, if it's more comfortable really far out, that's fine. I personally prefer around 30, 45 degrees. So again, can I get my hand? And maximum effort, I'm gonna try and pull my knee back into my hand. And relax again. Three reps of 10 seconds. So I'm gonna do another one here. Pull, 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 pull. I'm gonna do one last one. Keep pulling, keep going, a few seconds. And relax again. If you get cramping in this one, it's probably a good thing. It's a sign you need to strengthen it or get used to working in there. Right, now the second bit. This is when you're gonna need an object in front of you, something you can grab hold of and rock into. So for example, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this palm tree. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab hold of your object, something in front of you, and then I want you to sit down into the deepest squat that you can. So you're gonna sit down into the deepest squat, holding something in front of you, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull yourself into the object. So I'll pull myself forward, deepest squat I can, and then rock back. If you don't need an object to sit in a squat, you can just try to touch your head as close as you can to the ground and come back out. We're gonna do 10 of these. So again, if you've got an object to pull onto, just pull that and work on trying to pull and push your knees out, sit down deeper into the squat. If you can sit in the squat again, try to make that squat deeper. So 10 in total, just nice rocking backwards and forwards. look a little bit odd but it does work especially if you can't quite squat yet and you can really just hold on to that object and sit into it nicely that one works very well after you've done those 10 reps just take a nice little sit, sit for a second we're going to do that just two exercises we're going to do them back to back and we're going to do them one last time just give yourself 20 seconds or so just to shake things off whilst you are shaking things off if you want some more information about squat flexibility i have an entire series called can't squat in which we go over in a little bit more detail why the reasons you can't squat and what exercises you could use to better that. If you just want to do the exercises or do the routine, this routine kind of works there or thereabouts. Otherwise, I'll link that playlist down below as well as the app. Let's jump into round number two. So again, left leg down, right leg up, not dead straight forward, a little bit out to the side, get your hand and then pull that leg really hard, as hard as you can into the hand. Ten seconds, relax. Shake it off. Do the same again. So pull as hard as you can into the hand. Ten seconds. 
So this is a little bit of a weird one while you're doing this. Relax, see the last one. What we're actually working here, if you pull what we're doing right now, if you go for your contraction, we're gonna work the hip flexor and we're strengthening the hip flexor. And what the hip flexor does is it allows us to pull our hip into flexion. So this movement that we're doing now, relax. By getting that stronger, we should be able to improve how deep we can go into our squat. So we're gonna swap now and do the left hand side, hand up, pull the knee into the hand, 10 seconds, as hard as you can. And relax. And might be in a slightly quick 10 seconds. And another one. Again. As hard as you can, really, really work it. Shouldn't be easy, this should be, this should be challenging for you to contract into the hand. Working like maximum effort as hard as you can. And relax. Maybe one. Final one before we finish the final exercise. Keep pulling into the hand as hard as you can. Really, really hard. Pull, 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 pull. And relax. <laughs> From here, again, get your object in front of you. If you're not, just sit in your squat. And then we're gonna sit, grab hold of the object in front of us. And we're gonna do those rocks again. So rock as far forward as you can. Keeping the heels on the ground, that's the important thing. And then we're going to do 10 of these. So you can use your elbows to hold on to an object, use your elbows to push your knees out a little bit, pull yourself forward, rock back out. So keep going until you've done 10 in your own time as long as it takes. You can pause for a little bit longer if you want at the bottom of each of those reps. Uh, if you feel a nice stretch, you should feel a good stretch in the adducts, the inside of the legs, even to the glutes. I've completely lost count of how many arms. I'm going to do one more for luck. Let's see if I can touch the head to the ground. Ugh, not quite. But that's it. That is the routine done. Um, the kind of first little bit is a nice little warm up, finishing up with a little bit of actual strength mobility work to strengthen the hip flexor so we can squat better and squat down more. If you did enjoy this routine, the full routine will be available in the description down below in the app. If you wanna go download it, make sure you do. Again, link down below. If you just enjoyed this video, you can hit that thumbs up button if you want. It helps to support the channel, helps support me doing what I do. If you have any questions about today's video, about this routine or anything else, just leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to reply to you. Whilst you're down there, you can also hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out any more future follow along or just other videos on this channel. But that's been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.